Back now with the first of our special reports honoring black history, and we think you really like this one to kick things off. A prime example of someone trying to make a difference through music, and his legacy lives on more than a half century later. Here's 10 on your side's Kiana Patterson. The I. Sherman Green Corral is still going strong after 51 years in Norfolk. The standard is musical excellence as it honors the past, present and future. A black history celebration brought together former Washingtonians five decades ago. It's this generation of students that bravely worked to integrate Norfolk Public Schools starting in 1959. The first day they would stand out there, go home ends and all that, so, you know, it was a, go home. I was scared to death. Despite mass resistance from the governor and white community at the time, some students found a way to make their voice heard. After they heard me sing, I became very popular at school. By joining a special choir led by a beloved musician. Mr. Green assembled a choir initially comprised of his former students at Booker T. And we sang, and oh, how we sang. That was the birth of the I. Sherman Green Corral. The man behind the baton, a longtime music teacher at Booker T. Washington for 40 years. Let's go back to the beginning. One, two, ready. Ann McGinnis joined the corral in 1972. Now, 51 years later, she is still singing and holding on to a newspaper article of who she calls a father figure. And Mr. Green was an awesome musician and individual. He was like a mentor to me, as you can see on that picture. These photos capture just a glimpse of the musical excellence, but it's the headlines in the new journal and guide that paint a picture of what was happening in the black community at the time. He had to deal with the racist teachers and, and racist school board and all that. Yeah, it was, it was tough, but he never let it get to him because he produced great music. Now, Dr. Lydia Tolliver is directing the corral. Those stories have to continue to live on. Like, we can't just let them have those experiences and not share that with others. Long after Green passed in 1984. What he instilled in them meant so much to them personally that they knew they had to continue that experience. And I think that that's what legacy is really all about. Thinking back on the anthems, spirituals and gospels, Covington is now a retired music teacher in Suffolk where he taught for 25 years. He taught me everything I knew and a lot of the songs that he taught me, I, I use it for my schools when I started teaching. One, two, three. And he has never missed a performance so far. And I do this for him. That's why I'm here still because of Mr. Green. I want to keep his dream alive. And that's what we're doing as long as we can do it. All to make sure that it's the music that we can look to for inspiration. I love the chorale, and as long as I can get out some second soprano, <laughs> I'll do it. And on February 17th, the Corral will perform at Grace Episcopal Church to salute black composers in our area. I'll post that information for you over on wavy.com. Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.